While most voters focused on candidates during yesterday's Illinois primary, in one county they were voting on school funding. Folks in Lawrence County, Illinois, approved a new sales tax that can only be used to build schools. Houston's Mike Grant reports the additional penny tax is expected to turn into millions in new facilities. Lawrenceville High School is majestic, but the building is 100 years old. The community just didn't have the money to modernize it. We need some help repairing, rebuilding, something to make the schools better and safer for the kids. That help will arrive this year as a general merchandise sales tax approved in Tuesday's election. And we're very pleased with, with the, the turnout. We're very pleased with that the people spoke. Uh, that they, they came out and said, hey, we want to do this for the kids, for the future. The new sales tax will add one penny on the purchase of every dollar of general merchandise in this county, but that will add up. Officials estimate the tax will raise almost $900,000 a year for school construction. Money school officials say they can use to match state grants for buildings. This past summer, the state signed into law a new school uh, construction program. And we're eligible to receive grants, potentially up to 60, 65, even 70 percent. School officials say they're still studying options for the high school. But with the sales tax funding arm in place, they feel good about the future. I'm just really glad that the people finally said yes to something that was really needed a long time ago. And the community is <laughs> looking to those sales tax pennies to produce something for the children of this community for generations. In Lawrence County, Illinois, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. The tax will also benefit the Red Hill schools. Officials there say the money will be used to help retire bonds used to construct the high school.